Welcome to this presentation of CM4D Reporter, part of the CM4D suite by ATS. This is one of several video sessions that are available to help you understand how CM4D works and what it can do for you. CM4D Reporter is a light version of CM4D that is low cost and easy to use. It uses the same engine as all CM4D packages with a subset of functionality. CM4D Reporter accepts files containing dimensional data from various measurement devices, parses the files, and stores the data in a relational database. Reports are then generated using the data. To use CM4D Reporter to view data, simply drag and drop a data file onto CM4D Reporter, and a report is generated immediately. This report shows the values for a single measurement, known as a sample in CM4D. By default, the last 10 samples are loaded from the database and the last one is activated. The active sample can be changed by using a drop list VCR control. Notice that as I activate different samples, the report updates. You can see the current sample in the title block of the report and that the values in the report are changing. Also noticeable in the report is the highlighting of some of the report annotation. As you can see in the legend of the title block, the color highlighting indicates that an event has been triggered. For this particular report, the event is defined as out of tolerance. Another control is used to navigate through the sheets of a multi-sheet report. This report required three sheets to display all of the data. I can view all three at once, or each one individually. CM4D Reporter will create as many sheets as necessary. The report type can be changed by selecting from a list of predefined reports. I will change to the trend report, and we can now see all of the data that we have loaded from the database. Because these annotations are larger, more sheets are required. Here is another example. This one uses the CM4D table annotation, which is like a mini spreadsheet. And here we have a box and whisker chart. Here is another example of the box and whisker chart. Additional user interface components are available to display data in various grid controls. Each of these is customizable for content and can be used for filtering the report data. I will display the dataset grid, which shows various values, including the data and some statistics. The columns displayed in the grid views are customizable, and you can see some of the content options here. The cells in the grid that contain measurement event values are also highlighted to reflect events. The grids are synchronized with each other and with the report. Selecting an item in one view will select the same data in other views. As I make selections, notice how the views change. I can also use the grids to filter data. I will sort the dataset grid on the CPK column. Notice in the upper left cell of the grid the number 50. This indicates that I have 50 rows of data, which means that I have 50 annotation in my report. I will then select all of the data rows that have a CPK value of less, less than 0.5 and filter out all other data. I now have a report that contains only the characteristics that I'm interested in. Notice that the number of rows changed to 29. I will reset my report back to all, all rows. There are other filtering mechanisms for changing the data content of a report. For example, we can remove data that is not toleranced, or view only data that has triggered an event, also known as an exception report. The report can have an image of the part. This one has a 3D image associated with it. The view of the image can be modified. Leaders are automatically drawn to show the location of the inspection feature on the part. It is also possible to use a 2D image, such as a bitmap. I will load a different set of data by locating the desired routine in the routine tree and double clicking. A routine is the primary object for organizing data in the CM4D database. It often represents a part, but the term routine more accurately represents the process of collecting data 
and it may or may not correlate to a part. It is not possible to automatically draw the leaders in this case, but there is a tool to manually place them. More advanced reports can be generated. The data loading parameters can be changed. We will load the last 100 samples for this routine. We will look at another report type, a process control chart. The subgroup size has not been set for this routine. We will set it to 5. Control limits can be calculated and are displayed as lines in the charts. More advanced and detailed information in the form of a six-pack report can be displayed by double-clicking on any chart. From any chart in CM4D, data can also be filtered out permanently by defining an assignable cause. A special marker is displayed to indicate that the data has been masked. Any of the reports in CM4D Reporter can be output to a PDF file. It is also possible to combine report components into a single overall report. This report can include a cover sheet, the main report, the drill down sheets, and a summary sheet. A thumbnail in the form of a bitmap can be generated as well to complement the PDF. The report can be automatically attached to an email. Here is the final report with the cover sheet, the main report, the drill downs, and the summary sheet. Let's go back and look, and look at how data is loaded into the database. CM4D Reporter comes with a utility for translating data. This utility is called Datasmith. Datasmith is an important part of CM4D Reporter. Datasmith has configured the read, read the data from, from the data files provided by the measurement device. Once the translator is configured for a device, it will work for any part inspected with that device. P please view the Datasmith session video for detailed information. To load the data into the CCM4D Reporter database, simply place the data files into a specified folder. This folder is called the Inbox. CM4D Reporter monitors the Inbox folder, and when a new file appears, it is translated by Datasmith and placed in the database. It is then available for CM4D Reporter. We will reload the corner mod module, this time with 20 samples. We will display the sample grid and change to the, to the trend report. I've arranged the screen to show multiple windows. The window, window to the upper right is a folder that con contains example data. The small window to the lower right displays the CM4D Reporter inbox. I can see in a sample grid that the last sample loaded is Unit 110. I will take a data file containing Unit 111 and place it in the inbox. CM4D Reporter will process the data file and indicate that new data is available. When I click on the New Data Notification button, the data will be loaded. I will repeat the process for Unit 112. Notice how the New Data Notification button turns on. When I load the data, the sample grid will show the new data. Because I set my load parameters to the last 20, the oldest file is dropped out. There is an auto mode that can be turned on, which will load all new data as soon as it is available. I will turn that on and place more files in the inbox. Now let's see how to process data for a new routine or part. I will copy one data file into the inbox. The data is processed and the report updated immediately because we still have auto mode turned on. The trend report is showing our one sample. I will add another file. And another. And finally, through sample 10.
My report still does not display an image, but I can add that using the inbox as well. If an image is available for a routine, it will be included in the report. We now have seen how to process data through CM4D Reporter. There is one more level of automation when there is no interaction required from the user. A report can be generated automatically just by placing the data in the file box. To configure for this, create a bookmark for a routine and then set CM4D Reporter to auto mode. For each file that appears in the inbox, a report will be generated. I will add the next example measurement data file and wait for my report. A few miscellaneous topics before we finish. First, there is a data management utility that allows for changing and deleting data from the database. There is also a data editor within CM4D Reporter itself for quick editing of data values. Next topic, CM4D Reporter is intended for a single user. Each installation has its own database and can process data only into that database. A second installation of CM4D Reporter would have its own database as well and would process data only into it. The two CM4D Reporter instances would not communicate or share data. There is another version of CM4D Reporter called Observer that does not have a database and can only load data from other CM4D Reporter instances in the same network. It can use the data from any number of databases. For example, if a site had five seats of CM4D Reporter, each of those five would process data into its own database, but could not see each other. The CM4D Reporter Observer seat could be configured to connect all five of those seats and generate reports from any of the data. Also, there is one other version of CM4D Reporter that is delivered on a USB drive. The CM4D Reporter is contained entirely on the USB drive and requires no installation or IT support. The drive contains the application and all data, including the database. This version is portable and is very easy to get up and running. And finally, the reports in CM4D Reporter can be customized. This requires a license of CM4D Developer. ATS also offers contract services to provide customization. Thank you for your interest in CM4D Reporter and for taking the time to watch this presentation. Look for other sessions to learn more about CM4D.